Wednesday, August 28th at 8 p.m. Come hang out with us for an interest meeting and Q&A hosted by AP The Plug at The Ticket Plug. We're going to teach you how to build an online ticket business, the features of our seller community, special offers, and how to join. Come get your questions answered live on the call. Wednesday, August 28th. That's right. Head over to our website at theTicketTrap.com for more details. For our special call, August 28th at 8 p.m. The war between Marlon Wayans and Vlad of Vlad TV has spilled over to a whole nother place. Now, it started when apparently Marlon gave Vlad a figure of $40,000 for an interview. Vlad was not willing to pay that for an interview. He, he started putting up, you know, screenshots of his interviews compared to Marlon's interviews. He started going hard body at him, questioning the sexuality and it really just turned ugly to Marlon was, you know, he was even, you know, going at Vlad. Well, today I woke up to Marlon going in even more on Vlad. And, and this time he's actually taken off the glove. Like, not to say the glove wasn't off before, but this time it gets ugly. He put, black men, stay away from Vlad. He's a fed. Listen, his interviews. He's trying to put us against each other. He's starting beefs in our community and informing us at times. This is not an interview. It's an interrogation. Now, when you click on a link that's there, it's a video that somebody did where they got clips of, um, like, I think 10 different clips of Vlad interviews where Vlad was asking people's questions. And the, the title was something like, you know, 10 times Vlad's interviewers checked him about the questions that he asked. And, look, we... It's no secret, and I think Vlad has kind of changed up his style, you know, as of late. But he is going, and if you're dumb enough to give him the information, that's what he wants. He feels like I'm gonna tell you what his ideology is like. He feels like I'm, I might only get you in this seat one time, so I want to get it all out of you. I'm going to ask you about everything from A to Z. Now it's your, it's up to you whether you want to answer it. It's been these silly behind dudes on that couch get starstruck look at the numbers and want to tell everything because they want the ratings they want the views they want the attention on them but when they come to a, a, another platform they'll look at you like you was crazy if, if a black platform you know were to ask the question that vlad asked they'll look at you as you was damn police and like and that's just like i can't speak for all interviewers but for us it's kind of like an unspoken word. Like, we ain't talking about that, dog. Now, in certain places, we will go about certain things. But we know if it's kind of like a touchy situation. Even if I know, like, all right, this dude is halfway in, halfway out. I'm not even going to go there. I'm not even going to go there. I'm, I'm going I'm I'm like, I'm to avoid that as much as I can and extract other great information. And when you're having a dialogue, an interview is, 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 a, is a dialogue to it, right? A great dialogue. And it's like when you open somebody up, they're going to start telling you stuff anyway, right? And it's not that you want them to give you, you know, how many bricks they sold or what you're doing now. I mean, I saw this dude had people on there saying, you know, I'm the new, you know, king of Memphis, the drug lord of Memphis. I'm the new drug lord of Philly. When my plug, you know, some of the air ass videos was like, yo, my plug handed me his operation when he got booked. Like things like that. Like I sold 50 kilos last week. Like, weird stuff like that to where it's like, hold on. But we always come to this conundrum. We always come to this crossroad. And that crossroad is, are you going to get mad at the person for asking a question or the dummy that's answering a question? As long as, it's like, I, 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 here's a good analogy, right? You got these dumb fools putting all this stuff. It was this dude somewhere, he had a, he had a switch on his Glock. Right, he was bragging. He had 21 people watching. One of those people was the damn feds. He ain't think they was watching. He on there with a switch, running his mouth, talking heavy, this, that, and the third. And the next thing you know, the feds are kicking in his damn door. So if you want to be, if you want to talk this shit, if you want to put the information out there, somebody gonna get it, and it might just be the police. So if you don't think that they're listening and watching, that's on you, bro. It was a time, like, the dudes that I know that, that was really hustling like that, they wasn't on no internet shit. They wasn't in doing no interviews. They weren't even taking pictures. It was like, nah, I ain't, you know, you staying as low-key as possible. Some niggas ain't even using phones like that. 
You know, I mean, you got to do what you got to do, but it's like, come on, bro. So, again, back to the conundrum. Who are we more mad at? The fools that keep giving the information up or the businessman that's asking? I mean, you got you guys have fed the empire. People want to go on his people want to interview with him. People want to go on there. They want because he's most likely you're going to do some great numbers when you go on a Vlad interview. You're going to do it. And if you're willing to give up all the information and the, the craziest the craziest part, I think, like if you out of the game and you did your shit, cool. I still want to really talk about it. But if you active and you still go on there and talk about your drug operation, how many kilos you sold, how many car I bought 50 cars, you know, I sold about a thousand kilos in my life. I bought 50 cars. I got like 30 chains. I got 10 houses. You don't think the feds, the IRS, criminal investigation, all these people all say, hold on. There's a lot, and I don't give a damn what Vlad says. There's a lot of investigations that may not have been launched from that show, but there was a lot of corroborating information that was, I, I pointed out years ago. And you could check an old video that I got on the Casanova case. They were watching his interviews. They were watching these people's interviews like, hold on. Well, shit. Let's just look into this. See, all it takes is an inquiry. All it takes is an inquiry. A statement. One little thing. Remember, American Gangster, which is my favorite freaking movie, right? One of my favorite movies. It was that coat. A Vlad interview could be that coat. That chinchilla, the mink. Sick mink. Hundred thousand dollar mink. Whatever it was. Nobody knew who the dude was. But that coat. Oh, that, oh my goodness. And the four this. This dude got 50 cars? Hold on. Let's look up his information. He ain't got nothing on the books. Nothing. No taxes paid. That's an inquiry. Let's go look and see. Uh-oh. Damn, look what we got. And then they open up an investigation on your ass. 5, 10, 15, 20 years. And now they're kicking in your door and they got a case on you. So the interviews matter. That shit matter. I don't want to hear people say that that don't matter. But if you willing enough to be a self-snitch and put the information out there, you deserve what comes to your lap. That's just what I, That's the way I'm carrying it right now. You deserve what comes to you if you're willing to go sit on that couch and tell them about shit that you're doing or did. You deserve it, bro. You just don't get mad at him. And I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't, you know, look. He done what he did in this industry. We already talked about it before. It is what it is at the end of the day. If you want to know about, we talked, you know, many a times to nauseam about this. So I'm not going to reiterate the whole thing. Yeah, some sucker shit to ask those questions. Yes. Let's get that out of the way. It's weird. We don't do that in our culture like that. But if you sit up there and you answer them, and then you get mad at him, it's like he's doing his job. Like, that, this is what this is literally his job. His job is not to protect your image. His job is to get as much juicy information, get as much views, and have Google cut him the biggest damn check at the end of the month. So he can live in Beverly Hills and buy stocks and shit. And make his family rich. That's what his job is to do. It's not to protect your silly ass image. Rappers. Movie stars. And Marlon Wayans. My thing is. I'm looking at your little sideways too. Because if you would have paid the 40 bands. You would have had your ass right sitting on there with him. Talking. Giving up everything. Talking about the white girls. And dressing up as a woman. And the controversies. And all that. And all this and that. And this and that. You ain't hurting me Marlon. You're only helping him. See, y'all got to understand, you're not, you're not hurting them. You're helping them. You're helping them. You're fueling the fire. Because as much as, I mean, as much as you want to go at them and it's that, it's people lined up still ready to go on there. He's probably interviewing as we speak. He's probably going to do 10 interviews this week. You're only helping them. And you would have went on there if the price was right. But I'm going to digress. Let me know what you think in the comment section. It's your brother, old guy, man. Hit the thumbs up button. Share the video, hit that thumbs up button. Let's make this drink go viral. Peace.